The edge effect is an ecological concept that describes a space where the edge of two realms overlap, such as land and water, or forest and grassland. These areas are viewed as a fragile ecosystem, but only because this is where diversity in life happens. The Idea Generator Conference has created an edge effect for two faiths to meet through an intentional space for us to create a generative habitat for sacred meaning and belonging. I'm Sidra Ali. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm a student at Harvard University, getting a master's degree in Islamic studies and a concentration in law. I was invited to the Idea Generator Conference by Saeed, a former professor and a current colleague of mine. I look forward to attending the conference as I've always been interested in creating spaces for marginalized populations, but moreover, creating spaces where the environment and interfaith dialogue can always be a priority. Having not spent too much time interacting with Muslims previously, some of my preconceived notions going into this experience about where we're coming from and our beliefs and similarities, those have been deconstructed a bit, um, which presents certain challenges in working together, but also exciting possibilities. This is the first time our team has gotten together for it to finally ideate and kind of get together and brainstorm what we're going to do for the project proposal. Teamwork is hard. It's especially hard when you're working across differences of culture, class, religion, um, backgrounds, experiences, and it's been a very fascinating experience trying to get to a place where we're all on the same page. And what's been really empowering and exciting is that we're working on something that is around our shared inheritance, creation, uh, and the stewardship of creation. As a Muslim coming to this weekend, uh, working with Christians on a team to develop an environmental project, uh, I was anticipating some challenges, maybe thinking that we might be uh, paired up with evangelical Christians who want to focus on converting uh, Muslims in this weekend's discussion, um, but I haven't found that to be the case. In fact, what I've found is that we have a common foundation and basis in our respective faiths on care for the environment. So right now we just finished up brainstorming and working as a team to get all of our thoughts together and reducing them to something concrete that we can work with to further pitch our idea proposal. About to break for lunch. Or faith tradition inspires me to do this because of X, Y, and Z. And then that's that interfaith education component as well, where you're really kind of digging deep and saying, I, I'm not doing this just to put on my resume or like to say that I'm a good person, but I'm really called or moved to do this. It is important that people of faith are not co-opted into environmental action by pasting some extra faith component onto an environmentalist activity, but instead, that they really look into their faith traditions and realize that founded in their own faith traditions is of deep motivation for a different way of interacting with the environment. It's been an incredible day so far. Um, between the amazing breakfast and lunch uh, and between the workshops on sustainability and um, timelines and accountability and <laughs> I guess, business aspects of approaching a project of this level. Um, we were able to work with our teams today and kind of 
boil down what these huge macro level ideas are to something very tangible and something that we can present to the judges. We actually had a pitch um, today where the teams went in and, and gave the judges our uh, best foot forward um, and came back with some really helpful criticism and feedback and ways to improve. And so with all the challenges we had, we also had a million and five opportunities. I am, I'm an introvert, so I process and think ideas um, really well alone. But I realized, especially through this kind of experience, that my ideas really take shape in life when working with others. So our team just got pulled first to go ahead and present. I guess this is where it all comes down and boils down to. And I think we'll make it. I think we'll do great. Initially, I was hopeful of winning the grant money for an idea, but I've come to realize that the networking is much, uh, much more important. We pitched a creative, interactive playscape that would allow Muslims and Christians come together and form communities that practice intentional faith, place, and community. We're also going to generate electricity with the playscape, which we thought was important. Also teach people how difficult it is to generate electricity. And, and that would go into producing a sustainable garden that would, uh, that would literally feed, literally produce energy and literally feed um, the students in off-campus minds and body. And this garden actually would create a sense of beauty and wholeness. After presenting, I believe as a team we did incredible. As an individual, if I can look back and see what I did right and what I did wrong, I think there's some points I would change. But I think overall, we did okay, we did awesome. We got our project out there, we got our message out there. And I think up to now, we've been able to mobilize as a team and hopefully our new idea and message can mobilize others. Team Pink did not win, but in an amazing, amazing way, maybe a plot twist, just saying, Team Blue and Team Yellow did come out with first and second place prizes, respectively, and that is probably the most incredible thing. Not because of just one individual's ideas, but because every single idea presented today, and I guess every single idea that was cultivated throughout these past three days, has been incredible on so many aspects. And I feel extraordinarily privileged to be not only witness to all of these ideas, but also to be a part of the process in which created these ideas. So, Team Blue and Yellow, congratulations. Team Pink, I'll see you on the flip side. We still got it.